Hi everyone, welcome back to the session. So guys, today we are going to learn what is difference between the SFTP and versus FTPS. Okay, so let's start the demo. So in first side, you can see what is FTPS. Okay, so basically these are the protocols which is used in web method or another languages as well. So FTPS also known as a FTP SSL. So is a more secure form of FTP. So FTPS is a basic FTP with security added to commands and data transfer. So special security protocol TLS transfer layer security and SSL secure sockets layer are a cryptographic and provide encryption of a data. So to protect your information as it moves from point A to point B including username and password we require this kind of a protocols. Okay. So in another side we can discuss the what is SFTP. So these are also the protocol which is we use in web method as well. So SFTP also known as a SHS FTP. So it encrypts both command commands and data while in transmission. So this means all your data and credential are encrypted as they pass through the internet. So if you have ever use a unix based system like linux any kind of a unix based system so you are likely familiar with the shs so it's a protocol that allows you to remotely connect to other system and execute a command from the command line so shs is how most server in the world are and uh, like administrator so the protocol had to be very secure so sftp was uh, created as an extension of a SHS to transfer file through the secure channel SHS. So unlike FTP and FTPS, SFTP protocol is a packet based as opposed to text based. So this makes file and data transfer using the SFTP faster than other secure FTP connection. So basic difference uh, like one is FTP, another is uh, FTPS, and uh, third one is SFTP. So both third are the protocol for a file transmission but in the third protocol having more secure is a sftp okay so sftp versus ftps so both sftp and ftps provide a high level of protection so bigger difference between these two protocol is how connection are authenticated and managed so authentic uh, like authenticity and uh, manageability this is the basic difference between the both protocol so sftp connection can be authenticated using a user id and password to connect to the server so shs keys can also be used to authenticate, authenticate a sftp connection so in web method you can also see in administrator page we have sftp connection and uh, over there we have a we need to create some public key okay so this is shs key can also be used to authenticate sftp connection you will need to generate some shs private key and public key to connect with the sftp server so with ftps the username and password are also encrypted to connect your ftps client will first check the server certificate is trusted okay so the certificate is considered trusted if either the certificate was signed off by known certificate authority CA and the versus sign or if the certificate was self-signed by your partner and you have a copy of their public certificate in your trusted key trusted key store. Okay. So in this slide you can also we discuss only the points is not a difference. Okay. So separate connections for command and file data. In SFTP, it is not possible. FTP, this is a possible. Okay. Second, encrypted command and file data connection. So, with the help of SFTP, we can. Uh, this is data is encrypted. In short, FTPS also the data is encrypted to command and file data connection. Third, key base authentication. F, like SFTP, we already discussed. This is a key base authentication. FTPS. There is no key base authentication. Fourth, host identity verification. Both SFTP and FTP having the host identity verification. In this slide, we will discuss FTPS and SFTP. This is like basic difference. So, FTPS uses multiple ports, making a firewall configuration more complicated. 
okay if you have multiple ports but obvious the configuration and the complexity is more so in sftp uses only one port so it uh, easy to use behind a firewall second commonly understand understood and utilized as like ftp connection as commonly understood and utilized easy to implement you can also see uh, so according to sftp the interaction is binary and cannot be logged as is for a human ready okay so in short this is not a easy to implement ftp is easy to implement easy to understand and utilize so large difference does not have a consistent directory site listing format uh, but in sftp the directory site listing is a consistent and machine readable okay so guys that's all about today's demonstration i hope you like and enjoy this session so please like share and subscribe okay so we'll come up with a new session very soon stay happy stay connected and thank you so much thanks for watching